Thank you for the OIS committee for the invitation of the presentation today. My name is Irene Wang. I'm co-founder and uh, chief Oper operating officer of Belay Bio. Belay Bio is a clinical stage company uh, based in Southern California. We have the first in-class there oral therapeutics for macular degeneration and targeting RBP4. RBP4 is, uh, as a retinal binding protein 4, is a major vitamin A delivery pathway in uh, human. And we have, we founded the company in 2016. We are based in J-Labs in San Diego. Um, we have the ongoing clinical trial. Um, we actually will have the trial and uh, completed by end of September, so we'll be presenting at AAO conference in October. Um, so please stay tuned with us on our next complete presentation. Um, the lead asset we have is called LBS008, or called Tinglaraban, and which is oral therapeutics for macular degeneration. And we have strong IP protection and freedom to operate. And our target indication are Stargard disease as our priority, and follow-on indication includes dry age-related macular degeneration. So this is our clinical development timeline. We are in the middle of phase one. We just completed the single ascending dose study and in the middle of multiple ascending dose study. And moving forward, we will prioritize um, for the Stargard disease as our first indication, and, move, and, the, and later on with the dry macular degeneration. The company has received rare pediatric designation as well as open drug designation in the U.S. and EU for Stargard disease. And we are also in partnership with NIH Blueprint Program. This is the mechanism of action. We want to tackle the problems of A2E, which is a cytotoxic compound that causes photoreceptor degeneration. And specifically for, from all transgenic aldehyde, you can see Stargard disease has the A2, ABCA4 gene mutation, which causes accumulation of all transgenic aldehyde leads to accumulation of A2E, which is, which is cytotoxic. And our solution is actually to block the major pathway of vitamin A delivery into the visual cycle. So we have the RBP4 antagonist uh, by blocking the RBP4 protein to buy the vitamin A, and therefore we can control and modulate the amount of vitamin A into the visual cycle. We have the preclinical data shown. This is a double knockout mice of ABCA4 gene and RDHA gene double knockout mice. And here you show, show this disease model. The phenotype have a lot of A2 accumulation in the retina and the photoreceptor degeneration. And in the treatment group, you guys can see the A2 E concentration decreases, followed by the serum RBP4 uh, decreases. And we are able to rescue the photoreceptor from degeneration. We have the ongoing phase one clinical trial. So this is a phase one randomized double blind placebo control, single and multiple ascending dose study uh, to evaluate the safety, tolerability, pharmacokinetics, and pharmacodynamics of LBS008 in healthy adult subjects. We have the dose, five co dose groups, cohorts, and single ascending dose, and we are able to present also the multiple ascending dose uh, cohort one data today. So this is a single ascending dose cohort. We just um, actually just got this data, full data set last month. Uh, this is um, a PD marker that we are able to examine the RBP for lowering from all five cohorts. And this is a placebo control study. So on the top of the lines are likely to be placebo. And all, among the five cohorts, you can see there is a very nice uh, RBP for reduction in a, between 70% to 90% uh, RBB4 inhibition. Here we set up the, um, actually the th target therapeutic window is 70%, so all five cohorts has consistently lowered the RBP4 below the therapeutic window. And we have another um, dose, um, multiple sending dose data be able to present today. This is at the 10 milligram dose group, and there are two placebo control. And the rest of the active uh, patients who receive the active drug, you can see they have a very nice RBP4 reduction. After three days, they have the uh, RBP4 inhibition up to 90%.
we are able to compare our compounds with another previous on clinical stage compounds on the RBP4 mechanism called fenrotonide. And here you show, we show the model data of our compounds from the phase one and compared to fenrotonide data from the phase two. And here you show there's a much potent inhibition for this uh, um, R RBP4 lowering mechanism. The safety profile is well tolerated. We have a few mild AE, um, but they are all reversible and very transient. And for the MAD study, we have two subjects have the asymptomatic uh, delayed dark adaptation observed, and um, but their night vision questionnaire were normal. And this is a belighting. We have a very experienced team in drug development, and we ha also have the leading ophthalmologist for leading our clinical uh, development plan. And for the investment highlight, currently we are seeking for a 30 million Series A fundraising for a Stargard disease trial and aiming for a partnership with geographic atrophy with global pharmaceutical companies. And thank you very much.